Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be doing a 3D puzzle and it's not just any 3D puzzle because it's not gonna be actually constructed in 3D. It's a 3D puzzle with visual echo technology, whatever that means. So the picture is actually 2D, but it's got the depth. So that's what makes it 3D. I got this puzzle from a charity shop. It's 500 piece puzzle from a company called Toy. And it's got this cute little dog design on it. I've done one of these 3D puzzles before and I remember it was actually a bit harder than just a normal puzzle. It makes it a bit trickier because when you think the line is gonna go straight through the middle and then when you move the puzzle it actually like moves from the middle to one side for instance. So yeah, <laughs> it does create a little bit more difficulty but at the end of the day it's only 500 piece puzzle so I don't think it should be too complicated. I do hope all the pieces are there because I did get it from a charity shop. And let's go do the quality check now. There's a plastic picture on top of the cardboard which makes it really hard and you'd think that that would make it really good quality but I can see that some of the pieces are already separating which is not great. I remember when I had the other 3D puzzle it was really hard to disassemble it. It is possible that those pieces got damaged because of how many times they've been separated so it doesn't necessarily mean that the puzzle is bad quality. The picture on the puzzle moves as I expected so yeah I'm gonna have fun with that. <laughs> I just finished the sorting and I realized that there's actually one piece that is damaged. So it's completely separated and it seems like the owners were trying to fix it with some sellotape. <laughs> it's only one of them, so I hope the picture is gonna still look nice once I'm finished with it. The edge is complete, it's portrait, which I'm not used to. The pieces are actually quite hard to put into place. If I show you how the edge looks right now, you're gonna see that it's actually quite uneven. I think that's because the plastic on the pieces is so stiff that it doesn't sit in properly. I just wanted to quickly show you because it's so satisfying doing this puzzle because you can hear it pop all the time, so just listen for the sound, okay? If you're enjoying this video, please show me by clicking the like button below. I just place the broken piece in the puzzle and when I actually take the salad tape off the picture comes off as well so it doesn't look great it would have to be done with super glue I might super glue it later <laughs> Even when the majority of the puzzle is complete, it's still uneven. The pieces are not 
falling into its place properly and sometimes I have to press so hard that it feels like my board is gonna break. <laughs> Maybe if I did it on the table it would be actually more even because I would be able to press more. But the way I have it right now, on a soft mattress, on a foam board, <laughs> there's the result. The puzzle is complete, it didn't take me that long but it was a bit confusing doing it because of the change in the picture but here it is! It holds together so well, nothing I do will make it separate which I think explains why a lot of the pieces were already starting to separate because I don't know how many times this puzzle has been completed but because it's so hard to put it apart you can quite easily damage the pieces once the puzzle is complete, the 3D effect is not actually as visible as it is on the picture that's on the box, which is a bit of a shame, but it does complicate your life when you're putting the puzzle together, which is great. I'm also following a girl on Instagram and I saw something that I think it's a great idea. So what I did is I signed the last piece that I put in. So then when you give puzzle to someone else or put it in the charity shop or whatever, the next person that gets it are gonna see who's already completed it. I'm gonna definitely start writing the pieces now because I think it's so cute so thank you Kendall! As I mentioned before this puzzle came from a charity shop it was only one euro because they didn't know if all the pieces were there and it was so much fun. I know that one of the pieces is damaged but that's just something that sometimes happens when you buy second-hand puzzles. Charity shops are just one way where you can find second-hand puzzles but I have made a list of five easy and cheap ways to get puzzles and you can watch it here. Bye! <laughs>